Hi there, this is Trevor Duncan with Sell Seattle and SellSeattle.com. I appreciate you joining me on my YouTube channel. Today I am going to be showing you how to do a hard master reset using only the hardware and buttons on a Samsung Droid Charge. This is a Verizon phone and the model number is SCHI510. A um, couple reasons you might want to do this kind of reset. Maybe um, you've locked yourself out of the phone, like in this case. This particular phone has a user password, which I am uh, unsure of what that is, but I need to gain access and wipe the phone. You might want to do this if you're getting ready to sell, gift, or donate the phone to somebody else. Um, it does remove all of your personal information for your protection. Um, but let's go ahead and get started. As you can see, um, without knowing what the password is, we are we're locked out. Sorry, try again. So the first step here is that we're going to go ahead and remove the battery. That's always just the most efficient way to power the phone down. We're going to wait just a few seconds, then we'll go ahead and reinsert the battery. Now for this next part, I'm going to set the phone down flat on a hard surface because um, we're going to be using three buttons at the same time and it can be just a little bit tricky to maneuver those buttons. The three buttons we'll use are the volume up here on the side of the phone, the home button here by my thumb, and the power key over here on the right side. So let's go ahead and get started. You'll want to press the power key last, so I'm going to hold in home, volume up, and now power. And we're just going to hold those three until we see the Samsung logo, then we can go ahead and let go. Um, it'll take a few seconds, but what will happen next is that we're going to go ahead, yep, see the little Android coming out of the box. Um, there it is. Now we have some new options here at the top. And I apologize, my camera has a hard time focusing on these things. But basically, um, the options we have up here that's pre-highlighted says Reboot System Now. Apply Update from SD Card wipe data factory reset so we're going to use the down um, volume key here on the left side press that twice until it is highlighted and says wipe data factory reset that is the option that we want and to select that we're going to press the home key again now we receive a warning and it says all user data will be completely wiped out press volume up to continue or volume down to exit this is the point of no return so if you had a way to back up your data before doing this I do recommend it but otherwise I'm gonna press the volume up now here it says wiping data um, and data wipe is complete so now pre highlighted up here it says reboot system now we're gonna go ahead and press the home key again to execute that and then it will take a few moments but the phone is going to go ahead and reboot itself and when it comes back up um, it'll be back at the main screen just like when the phone came out of the box and it will be ready for a new user to go ahead and use the phone I'm gonna go ahead at this point you can tune out but I'm gonna finish filming so you can see exactly how long the process actually takes and in the meantime, if you haven't already, please swing by my website, sellseattle.com. I do purchase some uh, used mobile phones and also have some information on there about why it's important to recycle cell phones and how they can be damaging to the environment when thrown in the trash. If you have a droid charge and there's anything that you really like about it or things that you didn't like about it, feel free to comment. I want this channel to be a forum for people who are us actually using the equipment that we talk about. This particular phone uh, was my dad's. <laughs> he just donated it to me. He got himself up to the Samsung Note 3, which I'm not super familiar with, but it seems to have a lot of fun features on it. Here yeah, we're still thinking. I love the graphics on these droid phones. That looks kinda like a bionic eyeball or something. 
the picture and the colors don't really show up on this camera, but it's a brilliant red color. So we're getting there. Again, this process can take a few moments, but it's definitely worth saving yourself from having your personal info on the phone. Here we are. So, as you saw before, um, the phone had a password. Now it is completely freed up. We're back at the home screen. We'd have to set it up as if we are the new user. This particular phone does require a SIM card which is not inside so we will not be able to proceed but that again is how to master reset using the hardware keys on a Samsung Droid Charge. I appreciate you joining me and I hope you have a great day.